Hey guys, Lero here. I'm just coming to you a quick video because my Animal Crossing Amiibo cards came in. And uh, I apologize for the shakiness. I'm holding this by hand and didn't really feel like getting my tripod for you know such a quick video to open these up. But kind of looking forward to these. Um, this is like a nice alternative to the normal Amiibo procedure. You know, it would have been crazy if they would have had, you know, all these different NPCs and important characters that are uh, in the Animal Crossing series to be Amiibos by themselves. You know, I don't, no one has time or money for all that. But, uh, come right back to you after I, you know, get this packaging off, and okay. Okay, I'm back now that I got the packaging off, and I'll kind of just show you the cards that come in this one. So we got Benjamin, Biff, kind of reminds me of Wolfgang, you know, he has that kind of mean look. Remember Wolfgang from the earlier games. Tutu, Quilson, Rasher, and Tortimer is the special NPC card, so the uh, equivalent to, like, the holographic card of, like, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Magic, or the equivalent, you know, any kind of card game, there's always that, you know, special holographic one. But, I got these on Amazon, I think it was, like, $6.30, and there's six cards in each pack, so that's about a dollar, a little more than a dollar per card, um... I think it's nice, but at the same time, I couldn't see this being justified on the long stretch if they were more than the price per each card. Because, I mean, the new game seems nice, but it's not a full-fledged Animal Crossing game. It's the designer game, which seems nice, but at the same time, you don't really have that draw that you know Animal Crossing and the various other sequels to the series has had. But... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.